A unique new eSport at Atherton High School has students trying whatever they can to get involved. More journalists talked with students and instructors about this new club that has students looking toward the skies. There's a lot of buzz right now around Atherton High School. Literally. No, it's not a bird or a plane. What these kids are looking up at are tiny little drones, part of Atherton High School's hottest new club, the drone team. I just like flying the drones around, honestly, like having the control of it and getting to like go places and go through all the obstacles just by like, you know, moving your fingers. I think that's really cool. Atherton sophomore Eva Grievous is oh, just 15 one? years old, but don't let that fool you. She can race one of these super fast rocket drones like a pro. This is down, this is up. The club is the first of its kind in JCPS, but there's interest elsewhere. In this demonstration, 13 different schools came to see the drone team fly through obstacles, racing against one another. Oh, you might want to go down a little bit. And then got the chance to learn from members like Eva. All right, let's hear it. That was outstanding. How to do it themselves. This is the first school in the state of Kentucky to launch the Rocket Drones Career Readiness Program. That's Brandon Turk. Raise your hand, Rocket Racers. Professional drone pilot and the man behind this new program. He says while the competition is fun, the practical uses for learning this technology are most important. So at Rocket Drones, we've gamified the career field, basically. To the students, as they're going around the gates and racing, they're just having fun, trying to get to nationals. But as they're making those maneuvers, they're learning what we use in the field every day to make our movies, our TV commercials, our inspections. We learned the basics from another resident drone expert. We also have slow, medium, and fast mode. A guy named Austin Wilburn. So this is like VR headset? Yes, pretty much. It, it's a FPV headset, so first person view. He's 17. You put it on. Looks like you're seeing out of the drone. Be careful putting them on. All right. Pretty soon, even I was there you go. flying around. So yeah, there's definitely a learning curve here. One stick allows you to go up and down, the other one forward. But I will admit, it's kind of a little bit tricky to get used to this headset that you have to wear. Uh-oh, oh no, I crashed. Yeah, it's not easy for everyone, but Turk says that's part of what makes the program so special. So every student may not say, I want to be a drone pilot, but they say, hey, I'm interested in that. What is it? Oh, you're really interested in the physics. Great. Let me talk to the physics teacher. You learn the personality type of every student and where they can excel, and then you can help move them in that path. In Louisville, Ward Jollis, Wave News. Good thing Ward's not running the Wave Air Fleet of drones. <laughs> Turk says the program's already expanding across the country, and he thinks more Kentucky teams are on the way.